Good morning. I want to welcome you to Emmanuel Baptist Church. Uh, we are so glad uh, that you're joining us here on this day. Uh, man, it's going to be a great month here at Emmanuel. We're excited. We have a lot of special things planned to help you and your family uh, really experience the joy of Christmas and all that Christ has to offer you this year. Uh, one thing uh, that I want to encourage you guys to do that my family and I have started, I want to encourage you to read the Gospel of Luke this year during December. If you started on the first, which my family did, you can easily catch up, it's only the second. You read one chapter a day, and Luke's Gospel of 24 chapters, then by Christmas Eve, you can have read the entire Gospel of Luke together as a family. One chapter a day, and I promise you God will bless you and use that great book in your life. And uh, the reason why we chose Luke is because it has the longest nativity of any of the other Gospels. And I am so glad, as I'm sure you are, uh, that the Gospel has come, uh, that Jesus was born, and that the light of the world shines today. Uh, we're going to start off the service with a video today by Matt Papa that explains our calling because today we're beginning a new series, John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Today we're going to focus on the first part of that famous and important verse, For God so loved the world. Friend, we want you to know today without a shadow of a doubt, not only does God love the world, but God loves you. And God is sending us into the world. Let's go ahead and cue the video. Okay. It was the early 1700s when John Leonard Dobear and David Nitchman first heard about the island. They were at church on an ordinary Sunday morning and the pastor was speaking about a place in the West Indies where there had never been any gospel witness. He told of a man who lived on an island who was an atheist slave owner with about 3,000 slaves, all of whom would live and die there without a chance to ever hear of Jesus. Deeply disturbed by what they heard, these two men in their early 20s made the decision to go to this place to reach these slaves with the gospel. Their plan, sell themselves into slavery so that they could be among these men. Sell themselves into slavery. It, these guys, they weren't heading on a short-term mission trip. These men left to go and live and suffer as slaves. And they had no idea if they would ever come back. Their families and friends, in large part, were all against their decision. And yet, John and David prepared to go. And so the story goes, these Two young men arrived at the pier to board the ship, their families and friends all there to say goodbye, and they were sure they would never see them again. The men boarded the ship and set out, and as the gap between the shore and the ship widened, the two men linked arms, and one of them raised his hand and shouted across the gap these final words. May the lamb that was slain receive the reward of his suffering.
can stand with us as we sing our first songs of the Advent season. You ready? Here we go. Shepherds, he feels as they lay. 